British citizen Charles Gladstone on Friday morning made good on offering the first significant and direct apology to the Guyanese people, many ancestors of those who worked on slave-run sugar plantations owned by his family patriarch John Gladstone. Charles is in Georgetown for the weekend and during a ceremony to open a new center for migration diaspora studies funded by his family, he noted their deep shame and regret. He was at the time standing on former plantation lands which now forms the foundation for the University of Guyana. We, the undersigned, descendants of Sir John Gladstone, first Baronet of Fask and Balfour, and we wish to offer our sincerest apologies for his actions in holding your ancestors in slavery in Venerara, now Guyana. The apology coincides with the month of national observances for the 1823 Demerara Slave Revolt that erupted on the Gladstone Plantation at Success East Coast Demerara. It comes almost 200 years after enslaved Africans were given their freedom or emancipated and with mixed reactions with some Guyanese insisting that the apology was not enough. The apology also extends to the period of indentureship, another profitable period for hundreds of British families. Tears flowed from the eyes of persons within the audience. Others held placards in silence as one person periodically shouted, not accepted. The moment of the apology lasted for less than five minutes, but it changed the room's atmosphere, characterized by a spirit of oneness, humility and the personal introspection. Others, in accepting the apology, argue that it is the first step towards compensation and reparatory justice. But despite the moment of uncertainty about what comes next, the apology was read to the end and a signed copy was handed over to Chair of the Ghana Reparations Committee, Eric Phillips. In writing this heartfelt apology, we also acknowledge Sir John Gladstone's role in bringing indentured labourers to Guyana and we apologise for the clear and manifold injustice of this. Yours most sincerely, Charles Gladstone, Caroline Gladstone, Robert Gladstone, Felix Gladstone, Xanthi Gladstone and William Merrison. Your protest is recorded. On Thursday, while the Gladstones were in flight to Guyana, President Dr. Irfan Ali, in a national address, said the apology was not enough and restated his call for compensation, reparatory justice, and for those involved to be posthumously charged for the crimes against humanity. Hours after, the Gladstone landed at the country's main airport at Tamiri and were greeted by a silent protest involving predominantly afro guyanese The protest continued on Friday. While most persons in attendance on Friday, particularly those from the Reparations Committee, accepted the apology, some felt it did little to give impetus to the process of healing and understanding. We do accept the apology, but we do not accept the agreement, not the amount. We do not accept it. What would you like to say? I would like to say to Gladstone family, they need to go back to the drawing board and do better. It's very much embarrassing. Yeah. The apology is accepted because it's point number one in the curriculum. 10 point plan for reparations. And what do you say to those persons who do not accept it? They got to get educated, they got to get involved. If they were a part of the movement, they would understand that a formal apology is step one. It's mixed emotions. Uh, the apology is one aspect. I cannot say that I accept it wholeheartedly because um, I still feel. Uh, as though uh, the apology doesn't go far enough to repair what has been done. An assessment of financial reparations showed that the Dutch owes Guyana $40 billion, while the British owe Guyana $1.2 trillion for their role and benefits derived from the slave trade. Vice Chancellor of UG Dr. Paloma Mohammed said no financial negotiations regarding reparations were discussed or agreed upon with the Gladstone heirs. And so, many afro guyanese look forward to what is to follow. On Saturday, the African Cultural and Development Association actor will host a special spiritual ceremony where they will ask African ancestors to accept the apology and provide forgiveness. And I know what's around the bend might be hard 
to face because I'm alone. For the newsroom, Kurt Campbell.